create a virtual classroom, click the My Classes tab, then click Create. Now from this window, move to the far right under Web Pages and click Sites and Workspaces. When the next screen loads, type in the title, and this could be your name. In this case, we're using Miss Smith. Then down towards the URL, we'll enter Miss Smith again, lowercase, without the period. And we'll type a brief description indicating what this site is about. Now we scroll down, and we want to click under the Custom tab. We want to choose Class and then we want to choose unique permissions by choosing unique permissions we are limiting the users that can access your site in this case we only want students who are in your class to be able to access your classroom site not other students or other teachers now click create it'll take a few seconds for the site to generate your classroom and now we're on the permission screen from here we're going to say we're going to create a group and it's just going to say in this case Miss Smith's uh, visitors we're going to leave that blank and it automatically will generate two other groups members of this site which are the students who are registered in your classes and owners of the site and that would be you and possibly you'd want to add a tech mentor who works with your school in case you need some additional help. The members of this site area will be populated at a later date. You can enter in students individually by their username, but we're going to set up a link later on for them to uh, request access via email and they'll be automatically added to this area. Then we click OK. The site is created with tools already in place that are most commonly used by teachers. These include useful links, class document folders, drop boxes, shared documents, announcements, and a discussion area. To access your virtual classroom in the future, log in to the portal, navigate to your school's virtual school and click the My Classes tab and you will see your name in the list. To have students register for your class or classes, we need to first add a link to initiate the process. Go to your virtual school's homepage. You should see a class registration add new item link. Before clicking the link, make sure to copy the URL or web address of your My Classes site. After clicking the Add New Item link, a new window appears. Paste the URL you copied prior into the first text box. Now type the name of your class site and then OK. When the page refreshes, you should see the name of your class site under the class registration area. Students who wish to register for your course, click this link. Initially, they'll see an, an error page saying they don't have rights to view that page, but there is a hyperlink for them to click to request access. That will send an email to you in which you can give them permission to access the site. 